I'm really honored to be a part of Auburn's inaugural sculpture walk. The City of Auburn's new outdoor sculpture gallery in the heart of downtown Auburn showcases seven sculptures in various sizes, types, and medium. Primarily located along Main Street, the sculpture gallery will rotate annually, providing different artwork for Auburn residents to experience and enjoy. I'm really looking forward to participating in this Auburn program because I can see beautiful spots for artwork up and down this road. <laughs> Number one in the Auburn Downtown Sculpture Gallery is Roadrunner, created in metal by artist Dan Clennard, located at B Street Southwest and Main Street. The artist says he does not form his shapes, but finds shapes to create his forms. My name is Dan Clennard. I create sculptures out of found metal and driftwood. Um, I've been doing it for 40 years, since 1972. This piece is titled uh, Roadrunner. You find them down near in Arizona. But uh, I use a tractor seat for part of its wings. Um, the old grass scythe. These are chainsaw bars. Uh, here's a bumper off a 1948 Chevy. Here's a street sweeper broom. These are blades off of old wood planes. Um, rebar for the toes. And uh, my motto is I find shapes to create my form instead of forming my shapes. I ran into this guy in northern Arizona that was looking at my sculptures on my trailer and he could see what it was, like a bird. And he was looking at my sculptures and I said, well, did you see this old wrench? And the guy went, whoa, look what this stuff's made out of. He didn't see past what, what it was. He didn't recognize, you know, it's kind of cool because it startled me that he didn't see the wrench. They liked the idea that I'm using stuff that people throw away to create art out of. It kind of tickles the brain a little bit. Number two in the Auburn Downtown Sculpture Gallery is Eagle Song, created in bronze by Leo Osborne, located at A Street Southwest and Main Street. Two printing eagles are masterfully captured in bronze by artist Leo Osborne. In 2007, the artist Leo Osborne was asked by a Guamas Island friend to create a memorial sculpture for her departed husband, Captain Gary Lynn Casperson. Leo worked with the family to come up with a symbolic image of their affection and unconditional love for each other. This symbol was a pair of bald eagles that had nested their young for many years in a large snag cedar off the cliff of their island property. The two eagles are joined together as if coming from one source. One bird has its head thrown back in song, and the other is preening the crown feathers of its beloved. The bird pair have their outer wings rounded at the shoulders and draping forward and down in front to form the shape of a heart with the wingtips enfolding together as they meet. The back of the sculpture shows the wing of the preening bird wrapped around the back of the singing bird, forming another heart shape at the place of connection. Number three in the Auburn Downtown Sculpture Gallery is Tree of Life, created in fabricated steel by Chris Vermeer. It's located at First Street Northwest and North Division Street. This artwork by Chris Vermeer represents how life can grow and change, and individuals joining together to create a family. Hi, my name is Chris Vermeer. I live in Tacoma, Washington. I've been an outdoor sculpture artist for about 15 years. This is the new piece for Auburn this year that is called Tree of Life. It is made of mild steel, which I fabricated. I do all the cutting with a plasma cutter. I do all the forming and bending. I do all the welding and the grinding. And so this is my latest creation. The tree of life to me represents family, so this is my interpretation of a family unit. Number four in the Auburn Downtown Sculpture Gallery is House with Round Windows, created in Corten steel and sealed gold leaf by artist Nikki Falkenhain. It's located at A Street Southeast and Main Street. This kinetic sculpture with its rough exterior and gilded interior is a commentary on the housing market. Uh, my name is Nikki Falkenhain. I'm, I'm from Portland, Oregon. This is my piece. It's called House with Round Windows. And it's made in, um, in sympathy for all the people who have trouble paying their mortgage and being afraid of losing their own homes uh, or going into foreclosure. And when you spin the house, it will show different ways. In one uh, view, it's completely straight and the next view it will look like it's falling apart on the top uh, and in the next view it's going to be uh, falling to the side and the idea with that is to the uh, for example uh, falling apart like 
that trust we had with the uh, banks and mortgage companies is falling apart with all the things happened in the last few years. Um, the round windows are uh, pockets of air, like losing value of your home, symbolically uh, speaking. Uh, and uh, the inside of the house is uh, leafed with gold um, to see, to, to, to show the value we have in our homes. It's, it's not just the home, but it's the memories of growing up. It's the furniture we have in there, the walls we painted ourselves and the remodeling we did ourselves, um, which has a certain value to it. And I wanted to show that with the gold. Number five in the Auburn Downtown Sculpture Gallery is Turtle Island Puget Sound, created in bronze by artist Mark Stevenson, located at B Street Northeast and Main Street. The bronze turtle by Mark Stevenson faces north to align its detailed topography with that of Puget Sound. Turtle Island Puget Sound by Mark Stevenson and partner Sara Ibarra Lopez is based on a smaller version of the 2009 public art commissioned for the Des Moines Public Library. This bronze turtle carries the world on her shell. In this case, our immediate world of the Puget Sound Basin and the surrounding Cascade and Olympic Mountain Ranges. Stevenson used satellite imagery to faithfully sculpt on the shell the land and waterways that include the Strait of Juan de Fuca, Puget Sound, Hood Canal Inlet, 31 islands, 26 rivers, 24 lakes, and prominent mountain tops such as Mount Baker and Mount Rainier. Beginning the sculpture with a welded metal armature, the artist built up the form until sculpting clay could be added for the fine detail. Some of the scales on the legs were formed by pressing lima beans, fava beans, and Jordan almonds into the clay to form different size scales. Stevenson based Turtle Island Puget Sound on creation stories known as Turtle Who Carries the World, told throughout time in various forms and by many cultures, among them Native American, Japanese, and Hindu. It is the artist's intention that the sculpture will remind us of our dependence on the natural world in a way that is playful and inviting. Number six in the Auburn Downtown Sculpture Gallery is Riparian Totem created in fused glass and steel by artist Lynn Rebellini McJunkin, located at B Street Northeast and Main Street. Kiln-carved glass by artist Lynn McJunkin interprets Auburn's distant and recent history, including eagle feathers, hops and berries, the green and white rivers, fish, and a surprise shape for the dairy industry. I'm Lynn Rebellini McJunkin, and I'm a glass and metal sculptor from Conway, Washington. The piece behind me is called Riparian Totem and it consists of three strands of metal that are, represent strands of grass. And they're, they're divided up into three or four sections, and each section tells a story, something related to the city of Auburn. And all the symbols in it are based on my interpretation of Coast Salish uh, tribal traditions. Uh, it's called riparian because it refers to the two rivers that come together here, the green and the white rivers. So there's a section in the glass that's got water uh, symbology in it. There are also sections related to your agricultural past. For instance, there's a section with berries on it, and there's another one with hops. And the, there's a third one that's related to the dairy industry. And then bringing up to modern times, there's also a section uh, with bird feathers in it and related to the aeronautical uh, industry that's so prevalent in, to Auburn's current life. Number seven in the Auburn Downtown Sculpture Gallery is Chakra, created in pierced and folded steel by artist Kenneth Hall, located at Auburn Way South and Main Street. With seven main points, this spherical structure by Kenneth Hall relates to the seven chakras which are believed to be the centers in your body through which energy flows. Hey, my name is Ken Hall. This piece is called Chakra. Um, I started working with metal uh, at the community education program at South Puget Sound Community College. They have a program called Fire Art. And this was a piece of scrap steel that sat around uh, the shop for probably a year. And people would look at it and think about what to do with it and not do anything. And I finally took it and started cutting and bending it and came out with this piece. It was a process. I made the first cuts and the first bends and, and looked at it for a while and just kind of took it in. And I went to a talk by a friend that's in the healing arts and she talked about chakras and about se the seven major chakras. And I thought about my piece and I pulled another point out of it and I had seven points and the title of the piece. 
I love seeing art in public spaces. I started to be interested in public art when I had an opportunity to work for an artist who did huge, huge um, public art installations and I helped with making the modeling. And that was the, uh, I really started to see the background of how to get involved with public art. And then I, um, my pieces, which I, start, I started making sculptures, but they became bigger and bigger and bigger. And suddenly they were a size, they didn't fit into somebody's living room anymore. And I thought, well, you know, I could try public art. And the opportunity for new artists to participate in uh, competitions like this one, where you have uh, a piece you can show for a year is an excellent idea for uh, artists to starting in public art. I'm an artist. Art, I, you know, art's a part of my life, and it's something that makes me uh, gives me pleasure, makes me happy, gives me, delights me, and that's why I create. Uh, and having people have the opportunity to view art just in their day-to-day -day life, I think it's an awesome thing. I believe public art is necessary in cities to help people see and understand and experience different cultures. Oh man, it's real important to see art in every day because it kind of puts a smile on your face. You're going to work, maybe pissed off you're late or whatever, and you see a piece of artwork and it kind of relaxes you, it takes the stress out of your life. A lot of people are uncomfortable with uh, going inside a gallery and you have to pay and because of that it's kind of just a one-time event but here people can walk by it on the street many times not notice it notice it another time come back look again and experience it on their own without the, the sort of the mystique that a lot of people feel about galleries and galleries are wonderful they have their places uh, but moving in a gallery outside it, extends the experience for to all people young people older people just even today as we were installing I don't know 20 people must have gone by and had a lovely reaction to it and, and talked about the different parts of it and and those are kinds of experiences I don't have when I'm in a gallery setting or in a museum setting so bringing your gallery bringing your museum outside beyond the walls is a really um, energizing and and democratic process that I'm really happy to be a part of. I just really, really enjoy that whole idea of making something for the people in that town, which they can connect to. And working together with the city and planning it out and going to the meetings, it's a joy for me. I love doing that. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but for sure it's mine. <laughs> Vote for your favorite. A People's Choice competition is underway to allow residents and visitors alike to cast a vote for their favorite work of art, which will be purchased to become part of the city's permanent public art collection. Cast your vote by visiting auburnwa.gov forward slash sculpture. Cut. I can't. <laughs>